Okay. What's going on, guys? Um, I finally found something that I really, really needed. Um, this is a console recorder. Okay. And I'll put this up, and maybe you guys can have some fun with it, too. Alright. Now, um, I have to use screen with it because it seems to capture my console, which is okay. But, uh, if you can notice in the bottom here, I just get the, um, the output from FFmpeg. Okay. So I'm running this through screen, that way I can, um, still record, um, a background, or I can still record my desktop here, okay, but without all the gerbil down here, right? Okay, hope you guys understand what I'm saying. So, I'm going to say Control A, Control Tab, um, say Clear, uh, Control A, Control X would pop it out, so 979. <laughs> oh, it's got my password, didn't it? clear okay so it's um it's it's darn good it's really good I'm very very happy with it um, let me cat out some I'll say cat uh, what did I call it FFmpeg dot screen dot txt I'll to less I'll show you guys some code here okay all right so I don't have a mouse um, so, maybe I can do this another way. I'm going to say, uh, quit, clear, uh, save in tiny. Sorry, I got the hiccups like a mother today. FFmpeg and screen. Okay. So, this is what it is. Um, this, this started out as a text file just to log some stuff into. Okay. And I never changed it to an SH, so if you want to put that in your brainwave there, you know, you don't need to make something in SH to actually make it executable, on it. Yeah. So, but this is what happens. Yeah, um, I have to be pseudo here to catch um, what I'm doing. This is my hardware device. I hope you can see my, my, my cursor. Um, I want to upgrade the quality somehow, alright, but I'm not sure yet because I just got this thing running like 25 minutes ago, alright. Um, and this here is my hardware device, my headphones with the speaker on that I'm talking into, okay? And <clears throat> I put these two blocks here because first I couldn't get the hardware and the video to record, okay? So this is only a standalone for my audio, okay? And now the next line here, um, I, once again I sudoed, um, by sudoed and used at the FFmpeg. And the reason why I have the sudo it's because I'm pulling stuff like out of the device folder over here as you'll see, you see it's dev fb0 okay that captures my um, console okay and as a normal user I don't think I can capture my console that way alright I think I got some errors on it before so I suited okay okay so that's that these um, two lines here are both incorporated into the script uh, I jacked this up to like 19,000 at first. All right, as you can tell, if you f just follow my cursor around, I can't put any block on it or anything. Sorry, but I took this um, one command here off of um, online. I forget what it was. Okay, I forget where it was. But whoever put that up, thanks. Really, um, maybe I'll try to contact you. Maybe I'll send a shout out or something because this really saved me. Um, this 6500 here. You have to read through your manual, the FFmpeg manual, and find out what the best setting is. Okay, um, I'm not sure what the best setting is. I'm sure my quality could be a lot better, but for right now, it just works. Okay, um, but at 6500, this here uh, specifies your. Uh, I'm not sure what the B's for. I know the BT I think is for bitrate. Okay. And I left that as the way I found it online in the little one-liner that the guy put out. But uh, I'm not sure. I, I kind of remember, but I don't remember what that is. So I don't want to say anything stupid. But I increased that bitrate. Follow my cursor. Okay. Um, this is another test. I can actually delete this line. I think I will write now. Okay. Let me write in. Write that. So, this FFmpeg um, uses the F switches for format, okay? FFmpeg 
if you look in the uh, if you look at the FFmpeg manual, it's like enormous. All right, FFmpeg does everything. Okay. Um, if you want to know how to run FFmpeg better, check out some tubes from Metal X 1000. Okay. Um, let me see if I can type that in here so you guys can check it out. Uh, input and say, check out um, Metal X 1000. Okay. 1000. All right. Just uh, YouTube. YouTube. Um, that name. Okay. It's got a lot of great bash toots. I mean, like almost like 2,000 bash toots, dudes. Right? Very, very cool. Very cool. So he's got a lot of toots on what FFmpeg does and what you can do with it. I don't know exactly what you can do with it, but I do know you can record with it. Okay. He's also got a toot on there for um, he's X11 grab to grab this console input, but it's not actually console input. It's um, it's from the X manager. Okay. So, that, um, I don't want to use that because I don't want to be on X at all, okay? I want to be totally in the back end. That's what I'm striving for. That's, that's what seems to be working out. Okay, so anyway, back to the damn code. You got FFmpeg, okay? Of course you have to have that installed. Um, F is for file format, okay? Or, not file format, but for format, right? Read your manual and check it out. Okay, um, and I'm using the ALSA driver, okay, um, the input, this is my location of the input, I stands for input, this is my location for the input, which is, um, my hardware device on zero, okay, um, maybe I'll do a tutorial and, and show you how I found that, but it's a lot of manual research, I, I, I researched the hell out of the manual trying to figure out how I could grab it, okay, and I finally got it. Um, this is for file format FB Dev. I'm not sure what that is, but it has to do with video. Okay. R is for rate. Um, I got a 30-bit rate on it. All right. The B again. Uh, I don't want to say it's not bit rate. It's not bit rate. It's something else. I forget what it is. It's in the manual though. Okay. And as you can see here, I jacked this up from 6,500. Okay, if you go up here and you look in this line, you'll see B6500. Well, I jacked it up to like 11025. Okay, I even jacked it up to 19,000 at one point. All right, and th I think the higher that you jack it up, the less lag you'll get behind um, your words and what comes out in the video. Okay, and also, too, I found out that if I have like if I make a lot of test videos trying to get this uh, calibrated right but make a lot of test videos what will I think what happens is um, it, it starts to slow my machine down maybe okay so I just remove the tests and maybe rename it some new test like as you can see here in this line at the very end it says new test new underscore test okay oh my god I'm pointing at my screen <laughs> that's crazy um, but it says new underscore test and I changed that from test because even though I was changing the bitrate over here or whatever this is this th this number here even though I was changing this number I was still getting poor results okay so I deleted the um, old the old direct old file that it kept overwriting okay so this isn't a script so it's going to keep overwriting that file um, every time you run it uh, a, a new okay and I deleted that and I got better results okay now 11025 uh, why is this specific I don't know but I try to convert my video to flash so I could upload it easier but um, I was getting massive errors on it and I seen something like 1125 so I decided to just type in 11025 here thankfully it didn't slow my um, machine down at all okay and my videos my quality is not really suffering any more than it already is so that's that alright so this this dash BT here is for bitrate okay and I just found this online with 712k okay I don't really know how to do that maybe I could like change the brightness maybe change like the, the, the I don't know make a DVD or or I don't know what I can do but I got a lot to do with it okay okay um, and this input uh, device is my device FBO that captures my screen. Okay? Okay. 
because that's where my screen's at. It might not be where yours is, but that's... I don't see why it wouldn't be where yours is, but that's that. And finally, at the very end here, um, under, if you follow my cursor, at the very end, this is the name of the file that I want to write to. Now, MPG is what I selected. And the reason why I selected it, I tried AVI at first. It didn't work. I tried MP4 at first, and I needed to... Um, adopt some other codecs and whatever like that in here and I'm not I'm I just started FFmpeg today you know what I mean the only thing I ever used it for before was recording videos or uh, for uh, converting videos that's it so I mean FFmpeg is like a freaking you can go on forever about that alright so it's popping out of MPG alright which isn't really an issue for me um it's not really an issue Okay, maybe like I said, the quality could be better, uh, maybe with a different format. But I'll look into that later. Um, as long as it goes up to YouTube, I don't care what it is. All right, and this goes up to YouTube actually pretty daggone fast. Well, uh, I did a test sample. Okay, it was like 45 seconds, and it was very fast. So this video will probably take forever. I don't know. All right, this is it. Take a screenshot if you can. Okay, or pause it and jot this stuff down all right and um this is cool this this is a big problem i'm gonna figure out how to, i can send this to people too or maybe put it up on a site somewhere or something because th this seems to be a big problem I, i've had a lot of trouble trying to get this thing working okay and i haven't found too much uh too too much as far as console recording I found a lot for x11 grab and grabbing the output of some other stuff all right but i haven't had anything for the console like, you know this is the console no x it's in a tty terminal this is freaking awesome okay okay and um let's see here let me say quit uh quit clear another thing is to when you get it oh geez let me go show you it again Watch out here, this ALSA driver, if you don't have an AL, ALSA driver or all Linux sound application maybe, I don't know, but it's a common driver for Linux, alright, um, it's a common driver for a Debian's, I know that, okay, I'm not sure about Slackware, okay, um, I'll try to see if this works on Slackware, I think it does, alright, but I do know that there's an OSS driver too, okay, which I was playing around with, um, and I got that to record audio. Okay, so I gotta figure out which one is the best one for my system because right now I'm on my Mint system, all right. But I can switch over to my Slackware, and I want this. I have FFmpeg over there too, and I want this script to work on mine. All right. So if you're on a Debian, um, this would probably work with like some manipulations if you have to do it. Okay, and. Uh, if you have questions, hey, I'll try to help you, but I'm going to tell you, you're probably better off looking somewhere else, because I am not, I am not an FFmpeg guy, okay? Like I said, go to Metal X1000's videos, and he's got like at least 12 of them, FFmpeg, and all the little takes and quirks and what you can do to it, okay? He also had, like I said, he also had a, a, a screen recorder that he built, a nice little script, and that was pretty awesome, okay? And, um that worked but it wouldn't work for my situation because I, I don't want to um, have X or I don't want to run anything on X okay I want to run it all from the back end okay so um, another thing is uh, uh, bah, 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 I don't know there's, there's so much I want to say about this I'm so happy I'm thrilled that I finally got this thing going okay so hey thanks to all you do to put stuff up and um, you know uh, put up little snippets here or there. I mean, you guys are pretty cool. Maybe I'll try to find you guys and ask you guys if you want to shout out or something like that. Or you know, I'll um, I'll do that. All right. So I hope this helps you guys out. Um, this is better. FFmpeg by general is better than record my desktop. Okay. Record my desktop. Uh, they stop supporting record my desktop. And it just doesn't seem to work properly for me on X, okay? Not on the 64-bit machine. 
Now, on my 32-bit machine, I recorded all my other videos on it. All right, but it takes for it takes a while to encode at the very end. Okay, FFmpeg records on the fly. Okay, so as soon as I press Control Q, which I'll show you at the end, your video is done. Okay, so and there's like no lag, no nothing. It's just a better way to go. It's just a better way to go. Or GTK record my desktop, which is only um, a front end for record my desktop. Okay, but um, those those programs were very. Uh, they seem to break down somewhere. Okay, so that's that. Um, I'm still using the screen. Okay. Um, I would advise you if you want to do do any recording on your desktop or whatever like that um, through this console session stuff. Um, you would use screen or maybe Tmux. I don't know which one is heavier or lighter. I, I installed Tmux. I don't know how to operate that. It's I don't really want to either because it's just it seems like it's the same as screen, which is different button sequences and screens hard enough to learn without all you know with the button sequences. So. I'm going to say control A, control S for split window, okay, control A, control tab to move down to the new split in the window, control A, control C to control, to make a new, uh, to make a new session, I guess it's called, alright, now, since I have one running in the background, I can just hit exit, alright, and it brings up the one I already had in the background, control A, control X, pops you out, okay, but you have to be in that certain window right now, alright, so I'm not going to have a screen tutorial, maybe I will, but I won't today, alright? But this thing is freaking awesome, guys. I'll get you guys back with something else that's pretty cool later.